Hi, I'm Jillian Miller. I am the senior scientist for the Ecology Center and I work in our Healthy Stuff program. And I'm going to show you our rather small um, but interesting lab today. We have set up in this relatively small office space a couple of analytical instruments that allow us to test a huge variety of consumer products for hazardous chemicals. And I have a few props to give you the idea, although the variety really is um, far wider than this. Uh, we can look at things like toys, or the linings inside food cans, or disposable gloves, or uh, ceramic dishes. Uh, and we have a large number of interesting studies out there uh, using mostly the equipment that we have here in our lab. Um, we are able to pull this off partly because we have chosen um, pieces of equipment that are fairly inexpensive, they are rapid in the way they test, and they don't require a lot of uh, preparation of your product, whatever you're testing. So we don't need a full chemistry lab with um, a way to handle chemical waste, for example, or we don't need gas tanks or liquid nitrogen or anything like that. So we're able to do um, a lot here. Uh, the two main instruments that we use are um, right here. The orange one is called XRF or X-ray fluorescence. And this one can test for uh, toxic metals like lead and cadmium and mercury and a lot of other elements in the periodic table as well. So it gives you a lot of basic information about the composition of whatever you're looking at. Almost anything that's solid you can test in here as long as you can put it on that sample stage. So it's very versatile. Um, and very useful. A complementary instrument that we use a great deal is right here, and this is called an infrared spectrometer. It gives you information about what plastics are made of and what additives are in plastics, and that's important for us because we have uh, a number of chemicals of concern that we study are plastic additives. Some of them are flame retardant chemicals, some are plasticizers that make plastic flexible, and this instrument has been very accurate at detecting a lot of those. Uh, both of these instruments use light at different energies. The X-ray one uses X-ray light, this one uses infrared light, uh, and you are essentially shining light on your sample, your piece of the product, whatever you're looking at and it gives you different types of information. So this one, the infrared spectrometer, it produces what's called a spectrum. There's an example on the screen. And sometimes a, uh, an infrared spectrum is called a molecular fingerprint because that pattern of peaks is very unique to uh, whatever particular chemical or chemicals are in um, the product that you're looking at. Um, when we need more sensitive analysis, or to look for chemicals that for whatever reason are difficult for us, then we do partner with other labs. So we work with a number of university researchers and we work with contract labs as well um, to get done the full range of kind of experiments that we need. Uh, there's one other piece of equipment in the lab which is a fume hood. It's a really small one right here uh, and that allows us to use things like um, alcohols and acetone that are very smelly liquids that have a lot of vapor. Um, to keep our space and our air that we breathe in here clean. And we use those uh, solvents for uh, some types of preparing samples for certain types of experiments. Uh, so as a scientist who's worked in a lot of different fields, I have been impressed with how much we've been able to do with um, even just these two instruments uh, in this lab. We've done some really interesting research and uh, and the biggest thing as an advocacy organization is that we've, we've moved a number of companies towards healthier products. Both big companies, small companies uh, have been influenced by the work that we have done. So that is a glimpse into the Healthy Stuff Ecology Center Lab.